My name is Rene Yehuda Newman, I use they them pronouns, and I'm the editor-in-chief of New Voices magazine, the only national Jewish student publication by and for Jewish students. I'm here at the virtual Seder to talk to you about something that's been on my mind, both as an editor and as a gender educator. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the concept of Jewish gender. We're at the part of the Seder that begins with the famous lines, my father was a wandering era man. I've been hearing a lot of talk among people my own age about the concept of Jewish ancestry and thinking about what it would be like if we got to speak to our ancestors today. Now, I think that this idea dovetails in a really interesting way with the concept that we have Jewish genders. Specifically, that if we see gender as being something that is a, both a cultural construct and something that's truly a part of our souls, truly a part of our neshamas, then the notion of Jewish gender becomes culturally specific. That we have genders that are different than the genders that are present in mainstream, white, Christian, secular American culture. And so the concept of my father was a wandering Aramean gets really interesting under this lens. What if my mother was a wandering Aramean? What about the many generations of Jewish grandparents and great-grandparents who have always been making us born, for whom are our inheritance? What kinds of genders did they have, and in what ways do the genders that we have as, as Jews today, in what ways have those things also been inherited, just like the revelation of the Torah that we receive? I'll share a little background on the history of Jewish genders. Historically, Jews have often been made fun of, and anti-Semitic canards have often been created because of the ways that Jews are considered gender nonconforming for the societies that they lived in. The ways that Jewish men are thought of as being too bookish or effeminate or not strong, the way that Jewish women are considered to be hirsute and too aggressive and loud. But I think today there's a lot of relevance in us being able to explore our own Jewish genders on our own terms as being a marked part of who and what we are and taking pride in the ways that that might manifest in our own lives. I'd like to share the notion that Jewish genders have their own texture and flavor and feel different in our bodies than perhaps other manifestations of gender might in other cultures. And that in fact, that thing that we might call Jewish gender is something that is specifically holy. Like our inheritance of the Torah, there's something that's actually very ancient about it. The Seder is a really interesting and unique opportunity for us to get to explore our relationships to each other as Jews, specifically in families or with friends as we might be gathered together tonight. As the editor of New Voices magazine, I'm a huge fan of free rights. Um, but as it is Pesach, I will say that I'm going to give you a handful of free writing prompts that you could maybe do after the holiday, and you could maybe speak aloud with other people at your Seder to engage on this topic of ancestral Jewish gender. My Jewish gender is dot 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 fill in the blank. My father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, aunts, uncles, Jewish gender was dot 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 fill in the blank. My wandering Aramean ancestors' gender was dot 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 fill in the blank. Or if you want to just think more loosely about relationship to ancestors and the questions that they hold for us, I encourage you to speak on the prompt, I wonder if my ancestors. And if you have people who are not Jewish at the table, amend these questions and amend these prompts to be inclusive of those cultural identities. Talk about the relationship that you have as a gendered being, or perhaps as an agendered being, which is still a relationship to gender, and your cultural heritage. What do you inherit? And who are you because it happened? I think talking about Jewish gender feels really relevant to me when we talk about Pesach because our own self-understanding and freeing and opening and making bigger our sense of who we are and what we are feels very related from going to the narrow place into a space of liberation. Pesach Sameach.